Welcome back to Bear Cottage Kitchen. Today we're going to do something a bit different. It's still quite easy to do. We're going to do a bread and butter pudding. Had a couple of requests for this, so I hope you enjoy making it. Okay, first I've got my ingredients here. Got the, uh, the, the ingredients listed on the side here as well. We need six slices of bread, 100 grams of butter, few tablespoons of jam, it can be any jam, um, strawberry, raspberry, any conserve. If you've got some left over in the cupboard you want to use up, throw that on. Half a cup of sugar, just a few sultanas, I haven't written that down there. Three eggs, milk, vanilla essence and a dash of cream. We'll cut the bread into small squares. Now the bread preferably is um, a couple of days old, uh, just so it's, it's dry and not, unfortunately this uh, commercial bread is a bit doughy so it just works better if it's a couple of days old. So we'll just cut that into, cut them into quarters. Like that. I've got my tray here, now to bake it um, at home, probably a 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre baking dish would be wonderful. Um, this is roughly the same area in volume. So I'll just give it a quick spray with my wonderful oil spray here. Just very light. And I'll just put a small tablespoon of sultanas in the bottom. You don't have to put sultanas in if you don't want to. And then I just layer my bread slices, stand them up a little bit in the dish like so. There we are, easy. Next we'll do the um, egg mix, so I've got a bowl here, we'll put in the three eggs. Three eggs, check there's no shell in there, that's good. Put the half a cup of sugar in there. And just a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then I'll just incorporate that, mix that together. Then we add 850 ml of milk. There we are, 850 ml. We'll put that in there. Next, while I've got a little bit of time, I'm going to get a saucepan and just melt this butter. You can do it in the microwave, make sure you cover it, it spits otherwise. Lovely small saucepan, I'll pop that in there. I'll just put that on the stove. While that's melting, just pop that, just pour the egg mixture, try and make sure that the uh, sugar has dissolved. Oh, actually I'll put a dash of cream in, it's not on the menu there, but the recipe there, but it just makes it nice and rich. And then pour it over the bread slices. Okay, we'll just wait for the, um, for the butter to melt. Meanwhile, I'll add a touch of hot water to the jam. Just a, just a teaspoon or... Just helps to dissolve and break up that jam because we want it nice and runny. There we go. You might think it's a lot of jam, but you can add as much as you want. You can add less or more. I like a lot of jam. Okay, we'll check the butter. Okay, the butter's nice, nice and melted there. So we'll just get a spoon. Let's put a lovely spoon here. 
and I'll just drizzle that on over the bread. You don't have to put all that butter, just enough to cover it, to cover the bread slices. Traditionally, normally, um, with a bread and butter pudding, you normally butter the bread first, but this is just a cheat and a, and a, and a bit of a simple way, a simpler way of doing it. So we've got the butter on there. Next, we'll drizzle the jam over it. Look at that. Yum. Spread it about a bit. There we have it. Now what we'll do is put that in the oven at about, um, what have I got it on there? 180 degrees on a fan full oven. Boost it up a bit if you haven't got a fan full oven uh, for 25, 30 minutes. And um, what I do is I put it in a water bath. What it just that helps the um, the custard to set um, a lot a lot better. So if you, if you didn't do that, it, there's a likelihood it would separate. So I've just got another baking tray here, and I'll put a little bit of water in there. You don't need much. I'm going to sit that in there and pop that in the oven and we'll come back in half an hour and see what it's like. Welcome back. Oh, the alarm, the oven alarm's just gone off so we'll go and um, get it out of the oven and see what it looks like. It certainly smells delicious. Oh, beautiful. There we are. Wonderful. Let's take it out of the jar. Nice and set. Hi. Okay. Well, I think that's cooled down enough um, so we won't burn our tongues. I'm um, just going to invite uh, Claire. He's, uh, she's our um, social worker. Come on in, Claire, and give me your, your valued opinion. I will. I will. Oh, okay. Great. There you go. Very I'll nice. just um, dish you up a serve. Now, would you like some cream with it? I would love some cream, yeah. It looks great. There you go. Look at that. Mm, oh. You can see the custard <laughs> set in there. So we'll just um, put a dab of cream there. Mm, it's still quite warm, though. Yeah, that's great. There you are. Bon appetit. That's great. Burn me, no? <laughs> Hope not. Thumbs up. That is really, really good. Okay. Good. There you have it. You've got to believe it now. So get in the kitchen and make one yourself for the whole family. Okay. See you next time. See you.